Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today I have for you my March, right? March Ipsy bag. Let's open it up. So this Ipsy bag says, hello spring. We're having a spring fling with Flawless. Celebrate the season with a spotlight on radiant, selfie-ready skin. Flush cheeks and fresh kick of color on eyes or lips. And this is what the bag looks like. I really like the bright spring colors and the design. It kind of looks a little bit like flowers. Very cute. Let's take a look inside. So the first thing I'm pulling out is Global Beauty Care Dead Sea Wash Off Mask. Now this says it um, with salts and minerals from the Dead Sea. It's a 15 minute face and body therapy. Deep clean cleansing mud based formula for all skin types. So this is like a cool little pouch. I kind of like this instead of having to like dig my fingers into a mask. It says that this is a gentle mud treatment that draws out dirt and impurities from your skin and peels away dead skin, scal skin cells. Helps to restore elasticity and fortify the skin with essential moisturizers. Make this treatment part of your weekly regimen to stimulate and beautify your skin and body. So this I would put on and leave on for about 15 minutes and then I would wash it off. Um, I love using face masks. I have a confession to make. I like have this whole basket full of like masks and cleansers and skin treatments in my bathroom. Um, I probably could like open up a spa with the amount of skin treatments I have, but that's how much I love using stuff like this. The next thing I'm pulling out is the Makeup Forever Step 1 Skin Equalizer. And I have to say that I already have this, right? Yeah. <laughs> I, so now I have two of these, um, but I think like Sephora was giving away free samples too with online orders and that's why I have that one, but um, I haven't tried it yet. And this is the hydrating treatment, um, which is good. Uh, I could have used this more in the winter time. In the winter time, um, my skin gets really dry and dehydrated. So I'm currently not using it now because um, I haven't been feeling that way since I updated my skincare routine. Um, but I do have it on hand in case my skin does need some hydrating. And this is a great brand. I love Makeup Forever and all of their stuff. Okay, so this is a insanely intense tattooed waterproof eyeliner in jet black and this looks like from the brand scone scone cosmetics that's an interesting name so i'm glad that this is a black eyeliner because it's basically the only color eyeliner that i use oh it's got a felt tip on it which is good i wonder if oh wow that just came, glided right off really smooth, really jet black. This may be a good dupe for my Kat Von D eyeliner that I use like all the time. Holy grail for winged eyeliner, definitely. Um, this formula seems really great and really similar, so I can't wait to compare the two. This is Lip Lecor. Doesn't say like what, maybe I'll open it up and see what shade it is. It doesn't say on the box. It's in Morocco. And this looks like a like dark mauve color from the outside. Oh, ooh. Oh wow. So it's not really like the color 
I mean, this looks really dark and pigmented from the bottle, but the color on my skin is really like glossy and I don't know, it feels like sticky. Oh, I don't know if I like that. It's not like a, a nice glossy, it's like a sticky glossy. Can you hear that? Anyway, um, yeah, I don't know how I feel about this. I mean, I, I like the color from the bottle, but on my skin, that's, look, you can't even see it now that I like blended it out, but, and the formula feels sticky. I don't know if I would like that feeling on my lips. And the last thing in here is Living Proof Perfect Hair Day Dry Shampoo. Um, this was my go-to dry shampoo for a while. Um, when I have my extensions in because my hair gets so oily, um, I was using this um, to help keep my hair um, from getting too oily. And um, this works really well. And actually, I feel like this is um, like a great size. Like, look how big this is. What? This is 92 milliliters, 1.8 ounces. I feel like this is a great size for an Ipsy bag. So all in all, I think this was a great Ipsy bag for this month. I'm really excited about this eyeliner, um, most of all, to see if this is really similar to my Kat Von D one. Um, I'm also really excited about this mask. Um, I'm kind of disappointed that <laughs> I know I'm gonna sound like a total brat when I say this, but I was looking at other unboxing videos for, I mean, like everybody else doing their Ipsy bag, and I really wanted that NYX lip color, and I really wanted the Pixie by Petra too, so I'm kind of disappointed I didn't really get the things that I wanted that other people got. Um, but I mean, I, you know what, I'm just going to be happy that I didn't get nail polish. That's, I'm just going to be thankful I didn't get nail polish, <laughs> okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this Ipsy bag and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you got in your Ipsy bag and what you liked or maybe what you didn't like. Um, and thank you guys for watching.